Hi, and uh, shortly after uh, that video was made of me playing this wonderful old uh, 1871 Tracer harmonium, um, uh, trouble happened and uh, uh, the uh, feeders to the bellows blew and uh, I could no longer play the organ um, or the harmonium so uh, this may be a very good time to uh, uh, open it up and uh, let a lot of you people see what the inside of one of these <laughs> marvelous uh, inventions actually looks like. I'm still uh, still working on it but uh, I've made some uh, pretty good inroads so let's take a look. In the back of the organ, you can see where the whole wind supply from the organ comes uh, once you start using the pedals. Now what happens is, if I can get in here without getting in the way too much, what happens in this area is when the pedals are depressed, these are the feeders, it pushes these up, and in turn when these are pushed up, the wind's going to go into a chamber in here, which is the main wind chest, and you're going to see that wind chest come down. That wind chest is being held by three very, very powerful springs inside. But let's see if I can get this going quick enough. These are what I had to repair. Put a pretty good patch on. I think they're going to work. But as I do this, well, if I... Yeah, wait a minute. I'll, I'll pedal from the other direction. You'll see how it works. I can do it. Hope this is going to do it. Well, you can see right here, that's going back up again because that's where the air is filled, and that's going to shoot the air up uh, right through the top of the reeds. And uh, luckily, I didn't have to do that part. But uh, this is where all the uh, the uh, uh, leather had been detached in this area and was hanging down. So of course the uh, the air just couldn't keep in it. Hey, hi, you want to get in the picture? Wait a minute. Here, I think she wants to say hello. Right here, the voice to the whole entire harmonium. Four complete sets of brass reeds. And they were all done by hand. Some machinery, I'm sure, helped them. I'm not quite sure how they did that back in the uh, 1871 but it's absolutely remarkable and uh, move the camera over here down in this section right here is what's called percussion the little hammers that hit reeds that will cause a percussive effect and also very very prompt speech of the organ now we can go down below you can see there's a chamber here and let's just uh, take that off and look at the other side The material you're looking at right here has to be airtight. This is called wadding. This was a the material they used back then. And of course that's compressed through the ears and so there is some leakage going on uh, with inside the uh, uh, harmonium and I'm going to have to just kind of beef that up a little bit. Wait till you see the other side of this board. This is just mind-blowing. How anybody ever thought, oh, look at this. Oh. All the work that went into that, precision metal parts that uh, open and close certain valves to let wind in and out. Let's see, however they work. I'm still not quite familiar with, with all of this myself, but um, imagine it. 1871, and they could do work like that. And right here, you're looking at the reverse side of where the reeds are uh, stored. The four sets of reeds, two sets of the reeds are underneath here. When the key's pressed down, it's going to open something up uh, and we'll get a sound. Well, maybe we'll get a sound. There we go. Okay, now that reason you heard so much noise coming then, that's operating the two reed cells back here, but you can see the holes are not covered because it doesn't have things like this on it. But those are very carefully thought out and they're on, on, on the other side of the keyboard. This whole thing is a very, very completely complex thing. You just wonder what kind of a mind even thought 
of such a creation. And now the keyboard back in place uh, right on top of the uh, reed pan. And now with uh, finally the keyboard and music rack uh, back in place. Uh, why don't I just point out some of the stops to you people. Uh, right here, these, uh, these two stops right here, the forte stops, if you watch, what they're going to do is when I pull this out, it's going to open a lever to the back of the organ. That lets more sound out. So if you're playing along, oh, let's say, uh, like this, you'll hear one sound. Listen to it this way. despite all the leaks going on. Um, this organ also has, uh, interestingly, um, uh, something that goes to it called percussion. It's uh, similar to uh, little piano uh, hammers. When you hit the note, it will strike a reed and give a percussive attack. That, uh, that stop has to be uh, figured out somehow. Um, so anyway, there you see the, the keyboard. Maybe I should bring the organ up a little bit closer so you get a closer look. Also the name Tracer. They were a spectacular company. Um, right down here, there is a, a knee swell near the pedals. If you're playing, let's say, something that's uh, very, very quiet, you suddenly want the full organ brought on, this little piece right in here is going to go in, it's going to open everything for the reeds. So with your knee, you would quickly push this over, wham, the whole organ would go on, then when you wanted to quiet, you release that. So, there you have it. So now at least you can tell your friends, or, or uh, you'll know uh, some of the things that uh, happen inside a harmonium to produce a note and uh, isn't it isn't it absolutely remarkable with what those people came up with so many years ago I wonder uh, what is being made today that could possibly last as long as this who knows um, I won't be around uh, another 130 years to find out um, but I hope you will be okay well we'll see you later bye now